Kitty Gaming here, and hello, I'm Matt Tacos. Welcome back to my channel. We are back for some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, where we last left off, Sayori got really upset because we didn't tell her that we loved her back because we were going down the Natsuki, Natsuki route. I feel so bad, <laughs> and I know it's going to happen, and I just feel so terrible. Um, hopefully, if this cuts out on me, I'm super sorry, but um, yeah, let's get back into it. <sighs> Today at the festival. Of all these days, I expected to be one, to be one of the where expected this to be the one where I started walking with school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to a house to wake her up, but decided that it's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should still should nearly be complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes by myself, st carefully stacking two trays. Nizuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't spawn thanks to my hands being so being full. But funnily enough, I probably feel the same way in Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over and I can spend with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing but knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will go great too. God, I'm so scared. Uh, why'd the sound just cut out? Bella! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's funny, I should at least see Yuri here, Yuri here by now. Monica's... God, the quiet, the sound is so quiet and I have the sound on. It sounds up to 30. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the, in the classroom. There must be one she prepared with all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online, and I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised I didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think on, the, on a day of this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not, what, it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because of the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone and woke her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little more responsibility for her, Bella. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Ah. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. And I know everything. Oh my god, I can't. My heart. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Siri really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned on her confession? That makes me seem like a really bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Ugh. Monica's being as friendly as you, but for some reason I feel a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They really came out nice. Yeah, sure. I go to grab one of the... I grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help... People take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I'm just scared because I know what's going to happen and I feel sick to my stomach right now. I flip through the pages. Each member, I'm literally gripping my selfie stick so tight my hands are sweating. Like I, like I can feel myself sweating and my heart really is racing. Each member's palm is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Suki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I've looked to say Yuri's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's the one I haven't read before. Oh, get out, get out, get out of my head, get out of my head, blah, blah, blah. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know it's best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I'm writing this poem. But if poem is never really actually finished, it, actually, it just stops moving. Ah, uh, what is this? Where are you the poem? I should get a pin on my stomach. Bella? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else they always written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go and sit get so so Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica comes out after me. I quick I quicken my pace. Uh, I'm so scared. I know what's gonna happen, and my heart is racing. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. Not. It's not a big deal that I at least wait for her or wake her up. Even a simple gesture of walking her to school makes her feel really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that I would do the same as that I would do the same things they've always been. That's all she needs, and that's all I'm going to give her. I reach the always house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, so she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and I let myself in. I'm scared, Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I end up doing this after all. Waking up in her own house. Isn't that more of something a boyfriend should do? In any case, it just, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. I'm so scared. I can't even do this. Okay. There's no response. The sound. There's no sound at all. And I'm... And I... My, I can't, dude. I really don't want to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of... Kind of a breach of privacy? 
I'm scared, but she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say her. Oh God, my heart. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God, my my. I'm stuttering, dude. Like I can't. Uh, game files, game files. Happy thoughts. Uh, <laughs> wait, come on, load. It won't load. Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why? Um, anything else? Huh? Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh no. I can't. I'm scared. <laughs> Chase back. <clears throat> oh jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I could I could probably fix this. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? This is probably be a lot easier if I just delete her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, here goes nothing. Oh my god. Uh, I can't. My heart. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Is this an, a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this could be real. Sorry I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe my, what my own eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I'd be there for her. I told her I know what's best and everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That must have what pushed her over the edge. Her agonizing scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I let her do that when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is all my fault. My sworn thoughts keep telling me I could have done anything I'd done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know what she needed out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Actually, it is. Oh, no. My heart is racing and I don't feel good. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough, and now I carry this guilt with me until the end that I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me, and now I can never take this back. Never, 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 never. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't, my heart. This is so bad. Oh god, this is. F oh, I'm getting chills. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh. I see an annoying girl on toys me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention to my draw. Do you see this? Do you see how shaky my hands are? That girl is blah, blah, blah. My neighbor and good friends are your children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself make it today, but just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to work to school together on days like this, but it started feeling around high school. She taught, she'd went over sleep and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me like this, I feel better almost running away. However, I just find out across, across the cross like a let blah, 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 clutch up to me. Ah! I can't! Oh my god! <laughs> It's an ordinary day school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friends walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I've always told myself that I should get that I should need to meet some girls or something. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content with getting on an average while spending my free time with games and anime. There's always an anime club, but I don't think there'd be any girls in it anyways. Oh my god. My heart. I can't, dude. My freaking heart. And I'm freaking... Sayori is gone. Oh no. The school is as ordinary the school is ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I start breaking the wall looking for any amounts of motivation clubs. There really aren't anything that interests me. Besides, most of them would provide way too demanding for what me you know, I want to deal with. I just have no choice but to start with the anime club. Bella? Uh Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh yeah, it has. Monica Smile sweetly. We do know each other. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Beautiful, smart, athletic, athletic, 
basically completely out of my league. So having a smile at me feels, generally feels, why'd you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've been looking for some plays for my new club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. Hi.